To make these purse handles, I'm going to use a nylon cord. I got this at the dollar store. You can buy a nylon cord in any place where you buy yarn, usually at Michael's or Joann's. At Heart Super Saver also sells a nylon cord. And I'm going to use a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. And I have two of these wooden rings. And I got these at a draper store. I'm going to start with a slip knot. I'm just going to hold my yarn in my hand the same as I normally would. And I'm going to bring my slip knot around to the front. And I'm just going to place my hook through the ring, pick up the yarn, and pull it across, and complete my single crochet. And then I'm going to make another seven single crochet on this ring. So the hook goes through the ring, pick up the yarn and pull it through, pick up the yarn and finish the single crochet. I'm going to do that eight times so that I have eight single crochet in my wooden ring. Five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, I have eight single crochet in my ring. And when I'm finished, I'll take a yarn needle and I'll weave this yarn end back and forth into this work. So now I'm going to chain one and turn. And I'm going to single crochet in each stitch all the way across the row. So I just insert my hook in and complete my single crochet. Like that. And now I'm going to chain one and turn and I'm going to repeat. I'm going to single crochet in each stitch across the row. So chain one and turn, single crochet in each stitch across the row. Okay, I have a total here of four rows that I have worked. And at the end of that last row, I'm going to come over to the other side and I'm going to slip stitch to join. Now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Three, four, five, six. And I'm going to slip stitch to join. I'm going to chain one. And so that my work doesn't look twisted, I'm going to make sure that I single crochet directly in that same slip stitch so that I don't have a twisted look. So I'm going to go ahead, single crochet in each stitch around, slip stitch to join in that first stitch. Again, chain one, single crochet in that same stitch. When I get to the end, I always I always slip stitch into the first single crochet. So you should always have seven. And slip stitch to join in that first single crochet. And that's how that looks. That's the underneath. Here's the front. And you're going to continue to work those rows over and over until your bag handle is as long as you would like. You can make just a hand held bag handle like this or you could make it longer to go over your shoulder. And I'll show you how you do the other end. It'll be chain one, single crochet in each stitch across the row. But now you don't slip stitch to join. So there's my first stitch and there's my last stitch. I'm going to chain one and turn and I'm going to single crochet in each stitch across. And I'm going to do that for four rows, the same as I have on the opposite end. Okay, I've got this side finished and it's exactly the same as this side. Again, I'm going to hold my yarn in this hand and then I'm going to pick up the ring. And then I'll pass my hook through the ring, 
pick up the yarn and pull it through and then finish my single crochet. Now go into the next stitch, pick up the yarn, pull it through, finish my single crochet. And I'm going to do that all the way across the row. And there you go, it's all attached. So now I can fasten off and then I can just take a yarn needle, weave my yarn ends back and forth into the finished work. So these would be cute as just some small little handles like this. Or you could make them longer or you could even make them shoulder length. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed seeing how easy it is to make these nylon purse handles for all your crochet and knitting projects. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.